Hello friends! Welcome back to our channel. This is your favorite cosplay tita, Yuta Chibana, aka Haruka Sama. Hello, hello, hello! If you like cosplay stories, tips, how to's, and everything in between, then subscribe to our channel! For today's video, I will be showing you how I wash and detangle my wigs. This is part 2 of my wig series. If you haven't seen part 1, the link will be somewhere. <laughs> Or down in the description box below so please check that out first and then come back here as always just a quick disclaimer I am NOT claiming to be an expert I am just a cosplayer with more than a decade worth of experience so whatever you see in this video I just learned through experience and accumulated knowledge over the years so hopefully this helps you out and let's go <laughs> Here's my Miku wig. <laughs> it got really tangled during ESGS, so join me and let's wash this wig together. Here is a tub full of water. You can use any container as long as it can hold enough water to fully submerge your wigs. So me, I personally like to use real human hair conditioner rather than fabric softener or fabric conditioner it's just my preference so let's fill this pin with a lot of conditioner okay that's enough for now swish it around swish swish swish, swish. okay then dunk the wig in Okay, let's add a little bit more. This is kind of hard to film with one hand. Okay. Swish it around. Work the conditioner into the wig fibers like this. I'm focusing on the base wig, this one, because I used hairspray on the bangs. So, Work the conditioner into the fibers like this. Focus on the parts where you used any kind of product. And then when you're done with that, turn it inside out and also wash the neck part because this is the part that is closest to your head and is most likely the part which absorbs more, most of your sweat and other <laughs> bodily functions. After you've worked the product into the fibers, this is how it will look like. And then you can leave this there for like overnight or a day if you're lazy like me. That's why I prefer to use real hair conditioner because you can leave it longer and then forget about it and then just come back when you have time again. For people who want to use fabric conditioner or fabric softener, they're basically the same thing. Don't worry about it. You can use just one cup of the item and basically do the same thing I did with the hair conditioner. My wig has been sitting here for three days because I got busy. So now let's rinse it out with water and let's say hi to Seba-chan. seba <laughs> So I'm basically just dunking and sloshing it around some warm water until all the bubbles disappear. I will be doing this about three times until I feel like the wig is no longer soapy. And ayun, nabanlawan na natin. So that's it. And then I will hang it out to dry. Let's leave it there for a few hours so it can drip nicely. And then I will be moving it outside so that it can dry thoroughly. Transferred outside in a well-ventilated area so it dries faster. This is what you need. A white tooth comb. A fine tooth comb. Some clips and a hair clamp. Sharp scissors. 
hair iron. A wig stand is optional, but you do need something sturdy to hang your wig on to. If you don't have a wig stand, you can also put it on and detangle it and comb it as you're wearing it on your head. Don't worry, a wig stand is not a must, but it does help. Because <laughs> ang hirap mag detangle when the wig is on your head, but it's doable. <laughs> Can you see the difference? This side has been, is the side that has been ironed and this side is the side that's only been brushed. It looks so much better. So if you have extra time, iron your wigs. And here is my wig. Washed and detangled. Otsukare sama des. Hey seba chang. <laughs> and these are all the <laughs> fibers that came out. Medyo marame, but we will keep that for future styling. Otsukare sama. It looks so nice. Diba? It's so smooth. I often see people asking whether to use warm water or cold water. So the correct answer is you can use either of them. So if the wig that you want to wash is straight or if you want to <laughs> or because in the end <laughs> you're gonna be brushing the wig and curling or ironing it anyway but if you don't want to do that the answer is if the wig that you want to wash is straight or if you want to loosen up the style of the wig you use water you use warm water in washing and rinsing so when you use warm water and you hang it up 
to dry, you let gravity, gravity, <laughs> pull down on the wig, making it straighter. And then I recommend that you use cold water for wigs that are curly or wavy or pre-styled wigs that have flyaways so that you can maintain them. And to maintain the style, I suggest that you do not hang them up. Instead, you put them down on a towel and then let them dry in a resting position. I'm leaving the wig to dry on this towel. Maybe about 6 hours in, pag medyo tuyo tuyo na siya, when it's a little bit dry, I will change the towel and then turn this inside out so that both sides can dry evenly. Ayan. For part 3 of this wig series, I will be showing you how to securely keep your wig on. So, <laughs> watch out for that. Here's my cat, Sebachang! <laughs> And that is it for today's video. If you have anything else that you want to ask me, if there's anything that I failed to mention in this video, please don't hesitate to comment. Or if you're too shy, you can reach out to me <laughs> through my social media accounts listed in the description box below. <laughs> so, don't, for, don't be shy. Don't let those questions be questions forever. <laughs> thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video and share to your friends thank you so much for watching and see you in our next video bye